Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Can you predict an earthquake? Is it possible? We would all love to know. Hey, it's coming in the next five minutes or the next five days. Is it possible? Yes, no, and sort of. So let's talk about the short range, prediction, range predictions. These are really the ones that we'd like to know the most. I want to know what's coming in the next day or the next two days. And I wish I could tell you that the scientists have figured this out. And the answer is uh, no. Because if you're trying to make a prediction, you want to know something that's reliable so that you don't like evacuate. Imagine that if you live in Los Angeles, California, and someone says, I think we're going to have an earthquake, a big, big earthquake. Get it out of Dodge or out of LA. What if it doesn't happen? And it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So the problem is it's very difficult to predict. So from a short range perspective, it's almost impossible to predict uh, because we can't find a reliable way to know if an earthquake's happening. So uh, scientists have not figured this out. This is a quest of scientists. If there are ways or something we could measure that says it's on the way. Now, if you start seeing what we call these, uh, uh, some small shocks, sometimes we can expect a bigger one to happen, but we don't know if it's for sure gonna happen. Maybe the big ones already happen in that particular time frame. It's quite difficult. Uh, so it's, it's a difficult thing. But uh, long range predictions, on the other hand, are interesting. Because what you can do, for example, here's a, a classic example of uh, you got the North American plate, Acapulco, so this is in Mexico. And they can find earthquakes. There was an earthquake here in 1985, 1996, and 1979, and all these different years. And then sometimes we have these gaps. And these gaps. That means there's no earthquakes in this range, right? And we've got, you know, this plate is moving this way, and this plate is moving this way, and we've got this, this should, there should be one. And so we could say, since there has been a, not been a release of the, of the rocks in a long time, they're expecting that in this area we're going to get an earthquake. We can't say it's going to happen tomorrow, but we can say it's going to happen, you know, the next X number of years. And so this is going to be an area that's going to be quite susceptible to earthquakes because of the gap. Does that make sense? Um, also, we can predict earthquake probability. Where are earthquakes going to happen? Again, we talked about where they happen, typically on plate borders. But here's a map of the United States, and you know the red, oh, pink, or whatever color you want to call it. That's going to be the highest probability of, of earthquakes, of at least of the 6.5, the big ones, right? Um, and the, the circles are actual earthquakes, because we know where earthquakes are happening. It's all mapped. It's known every day where all the earthquakes are happening on the Earth. We can figure this out, and we can calculate it, and we can find out where the most interesting parts are. One spot we haven't talked much about, but this is a fascinating earthquake right here. There was a big earthquake in 19, I'm not, I forget the exact, it was called the New Madrid earthquake, 1916 or 17. And it's never happened again, or it hasn't happened in, since, you know, it was 1800 and something, I don't know. It, it, there wasn't many people living there, so it, it was in the 1800s, actually, I'm gonna say the 1800s. And uh, there's expectation that the, the, it, the pressure is building up, and they're really concerned that this might go, and this is near St. Louis, Missouri, you know, we're down here. I don't think we're going to feel it necessarily, but people in this area, it will be devastating um, if and when it happens. Probably when, not just if. So, uh, not too difficult to answer this question. How do we predict earthquakes? Uh, we don't, <laughs> except we can do it long term. We'll see you in class.